So, yeah. All right. We are so excited to be back at yes. the Kids Club Camp Creativity. It's only been a week. It's only been a week. I'm Jessica, and this is Alice. And we are going to show you today how to make some fun yarn monsters. Monster so here's uh, here's a little guy, and we actually um, made a big guy too. And I'll show you how to make him. And then we also made. We'll, we'll work. We'll show show that in a minute. Okay. So the things we're going to need to get started today are step one: yarn, some yarn. So we're using the uh, Loops and Threads Impeccable yarn. It's kind of a thinner yarn. You can use any type of yarn really for this project. Thicker yarn will just you may just need to loop it a fewer times if you've got a thicker yarn and we'll get there. Aww. Alice, why don't you show what else we're going to need for this project? We're going to need glue, Elmer's glue. We almost have ran out. Yes. We Use the running. gluey glue. Okay, we are running low on glue. What else will we need, Alice? Googly eyes. Googly eyes. Match. Scissors. Scissors. And thingamabobbers. If you don't know from the last time you saw me, I call these thingamabobbers, but they are used as finial sticks or pipe cleaners. But you can use them as thingamabobbers because I call it everything. I don't know a thingamabobber because. So it's kind of hard to identify what those things are. Yeah. Okay. So before we get started, we're going to take tell one monster joke. And then I'll show you, um, I'll kind of walk through the steps to what we're going to do, and then we'll go step by step. Okay. So Alice, okay. you want to tell one, the first monster joke? Okay. What monster likes to dance? What monster likes to dance? But type your answer in the chat. I have to be in the Q&A section. And I will shout them out to Jess and Alice. Awesome. And while we're waiting on that, we're going to pick our yarn. So we got a bunch of different colors of yarn today. Really, you only need one for this project. Um, Alice said she actually wants to do a little combo, so we'll work, walk you through that too if that's what you decide to do. Is the so color. she's going to start turquoise. with blue. blue. That is, it's a deep turquoise. So she's going to start with this color. Um, so oh, well, so, do you want to hear what they're saying for their answers? Yes, absolutely. I would love to hear. Oh, we've got a dance monster and um, Funny monster and a boogie monster. So close! But so it's close. the boogie man! <laughs> oh, it's the boogie man. Very, very close. Some great answers there. Okay. I do not know how to make this because she never told me how to make Alice it. is going to learn in real time with everyone else. She did not want to do her homework last night. So You never said I had to do it. Okay. I love you. I don't have first, what we're going to do is um, we're going to we want you to get your yarn. So pick out your first color of yarn if you're only going to use one. We'll start by doing a monster with one, and then I can show you how to do a monster with more than one. But you're going to need a lot of yarn. So um, to find, if you're having any trouble finding um, where to start a yarn in a new yarn ball, um, this this brand is actually really great. You just have to kind of follow. There, there are probably like some lead strings on your piece of yarn like this. You see how there are some that kind of stick in the pattern? Those are, are, are clues, basically. So start kind of gently pulling on those, and one of those should release your yarn from the inside of your yarn ball. So you're going to want to pull um, you're going to want to pull a good bunch out and you might have to take the label off. That's fine um, to kind of keep your project moving. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. You're beautiful. It looks like a monster's eyebrow actually. Um, so you're going to want to get a good bit of yarn just so that you can now don't don't cut it off of the skein quite yet. Um, but get a good long length. And the longer your length of yarn, the more fluffy your monster is going to be, okay? So we have a few questions about yarn. Sure. What if they don't have yarn? Should they watch the recording tomorrow? Yeah, so- um, Or you could draw. Yeah, so there are some alternatives to following along in our craft today if you don't have yarn on you. So one, if you've got um, string around the house, that could potentially work too. Um, but yarn is really gonna be the best thing for this project. As Alice said, 
Um, you can absolutely get a piece of paper and draw a silly string looking monster, uh, yarn like looking monster along with us. And then we do post these videos um, the day after at michaels.com backslash classes, um, where you can go find the video and rewatch it when you do have some yarn um, available to you. Okay, so you're gonna, if you've got a nice length of yarn, um, um, if you've got a nice length of length of yarn, um, find the end. And I have lost my end, so give me a minute. There it is. Nope. Lies. So give me a minute to find it. Oh, I found it. And what you're gonna do is this is really simple step. Okay. You're gonna hold the end of the yarn in your hand just like this, and then you're gonna take the yarn and just wrap it around your hand. And you're gonna do that um, at least 20 times. Okay. I did it yesterday, so to get um, I have a kind of a, you know, this yarn is a little thin, so to get to kind of this, this uh, big of a monster, um, I did it around my hand 40 times, okay? So today I'm going to do 40 because I thought it gave you coverage. Um, so let's uh, count it off, okay? And I've done maybe four, it looks like, already. So it'll be like Count Dracula, who is a monster. Um, five, six. And this is a great point. So Alice has, t has rolled hers really tightly. You can see how tight her hands are, but I left some wiggle room for my hands. And you don't want to make your fingers to <laughs> stop the blood coming from. So if, if you do it a little uh, looser, so th it's fine if you did it either way, but if you do it a little looser, it makes it easier to kind of slip off for our next step. Can so you, you want to, yes. So you're going to want to, um, I'm going to help Alice just because her hands are turning purple. Um, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're going to slip that off. <gasps> But, but you're going to keep it in your in your ball, okay? You don't want to let your ball go. So you want to make sure you've still got the insides and the outside. So Alice, hold it like that for me. Interrupting. We're now making okay. scarves. And then I have my, you see how I've got it here? You're just going to gently put that down. And next, you're going to take your scissors. Okay. Um, and I'll, put, I'll hold mine up and kid do this safeties. too. Yeah, use your blunt-tipped kid safe scissors, and you're just going to cut it off. Okay, cut the end off. There you go. And then gently set your, your yarn down with the with the hole still open in the middle because you're going to need to get back to that, okay? That's good. You're fine. And then you want to go back to your yarn and you're just going to take maybe like a two inch, three inch length I don't know how much that and is. cut a tip off. So for Alice, that's about right. So go ahead and cut there. Chisel. All right, yeah. Chisel. There we go. I chisel has been Okay. And you're going to take this piece and you are going to wrap it around take it. your no you're going to take your um, loop of yarn and you're going to stick this piece right through the middle okay so it's kind of like a like you're stringing it like a necklace all right and then you're going to tie this piece together in a knot so i'm going to make a knot at the top i can make you any knots. okay and i'm going to truly knot it off so you want to do two ties so you've got a knot and now you've got a secure loop just like that, okay? Did I do it? Did I do it? Let's see. So Alice did it too. Very good. So she's got her circle in the middle. And you can still see my finger through it. And then the knot at the top, okay? Do we have any questions? Does anybody need to see that again? Yeah, so they want to know how many times they wrap it around. Okay. Oh, okay. Let me take this. So you wrap it around your hand 40 times. And if you have the size of my hand, then 40 is okay. But if you have my age, like if you have six, if you're six and above, you can do it 40. But if you're five or under, 
You should do it a little bit like 20, maybe. So like maybe doesn't... less. Yeah. So the more times, you can do it as many times as you like, but the, the more times you do go around. Um, it can like, like, you're kind of like, your fingers aren't breathing. Right. The more times you go around, it's going to make your monster just more fluffy, okay? So if you want to do it 40 times, this was 40 times worth. Um, yes, if you want to do it 60 times, you can do that too. It'll just be fluffy. Or if you want to do it less, that's okay too. It'll just be a little less fluffy. Can so, we use two colors? Absolutely. And we'll, we'll, we'll share that here in a minute. But um, if you want to jump ahead, what I would recommend is, um, so get one loop going. And then before you tie it off, get another loop in another color and you can blend them and then um, tie them together so they're all one piece, if that makes sense. We'll do an example of that in, here in a minute. I just wanted to make sure everyone gets like the basic steps down and then we'll have some fun playing with the different types of monsters we could create. So the next step is um, we're gonna take our monster and we're gonna give it a haircut. So mm -hmm. Alice and I, if you were with us last week, we, you'll notice our hair is a little shorter this week. We got Haircuts. haircuts and we're and about to give our monster a haircut so take your blunt tip scissors and you're gonna cut so you've got your loop so hold the part you tied at the top and you're just gonna cut all the strings at the bottom and wait, I'm gonna wait let me ask through it or just like that so just like I'm doing I'm taking all the loops at the bottom and I'm just cutting them so now I have something that looks like this, right? And my tie is still in the middle. I'm almost done. Let's see. So Alice, Alice is show, show everybody yours. You've got yours. Mine looks like a mustache. <laughs> it actually does. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Mustaches. Uh, it's next week's project, perhaps. Okay, no. so that's that step. Is everybody clear on how that worked? Any questions? Okay, so do they have to tie the yarn together? Yes, yes. so you're gonna, you definitely wanna um, take that step. It just is gonna make it a little easier to, um, to handle. If you don't tie it together, it'll be a lot easier later in the project for the strings to come out. It just helps secure the yarn so that you don't have kind of yarn everywhere. You're okay. also going to need thingamabobbers right now. Yep. Next step, let's make sure there are no more questions first, okay? Any Do we have any substitutions for thingamabobbers or pipe cleaners? Um, you're going to need, you could probably use um, a twist tie um, if you had a, a longer twist tie, but you, you're going to need something that can kind of, that you're able to twist around for this project. Um, but you we can, can show straws. You can use straws, um, like plastic straws. Yeah, but you might. I think you're going to need something you need that will need to stick a little bit better. What we can show later is um, a way to potentially turn these into puppets. And with that, you might be able to just kind of do this step, glue some googly eyes on, and then and we can show you how to make a, a puppet puppet without a chenille stem. So we'll come back to that a little bit later. Okay. Like, if you don't know how, if you have like a popsicle stick you, mm -hmm. and you can just glue the googly eyes on and then you can take the popsicle stick and put it under and glue it under and then you use the puppet. You can just hold it. That's exactly what I was thinking too. So we'll try that a little later, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and take the next step with this and then we'll show you some different ways you could, you could um, work this project a little bit so that you can use it for different things. So exciting stuff to come. So yes, like, um, do go ahead and pick out a thing of a bobber slash chenille, chenille stem slash pipe cleaner, whatever you like to call it. And toss mustache, because it can be a very long Italian guy mustache. Okay, it could be. So this part, um, is um, Mom, mommy, you're, yeah. you're just gonna have to kind of feel your way through it a little bit. The first thing you want to do is cross your the ends over so that you have kind of a, a loop at like the box. This? Okay, like just like this. It looks like two antenna. So these antenna later are gonna become what you stick your googly eyes onto. Okay, but not quite yet. So you're gonna take these your loop. And you're gonna twist it around so that it, that loop stays in place. Wait, is this Maybe good? two loops should do it, like just like that, okay? Wait, can you twist it just like this? Like this? Very good, yeah. And now loop it around so it stays in place twice. Good. 
Great. And next, we're going to take our yarn monster and you're going to where where you have the tie in the middle mine's too short you're gonna put that through the cross just like that and lay it over my way yours is fine we'll fix it yours will just have a short haircut yeah so once you've got it there you're gonna take it and and you're gonna take these two top antenna and you're gonna twist them once around twist them once around okay no so now your monster wait, is wait, secure and it has little antennas. Okay, I'm gonna twist mine around twice because they did not secure. Okay, that's fine, that works too. All right, next, we're gonna take our, I, I'm calling them antenna for lack of a better term. You're gonna take them and you're gonna make, bend two little loops at the top. And that's, you want it to be a, to tiny enough where you can stick a googly eye yeah. on top of it and, and the googly eye will go through. This is my smallest. That's good. That's perfect. So you kind of get. If you want to see mine, um, it looks like he's on a unicycle. <laughs> it does actually kind of look like he's on a unicycle. So next, we're going to work on, we're going to pause on putting our googly eyes on, and we're going to work on the bottom. So turn your yarn monster upside down. And, and um, make sure none of the hair falls yeah. off. If you. If you do not have, if you don't have yarn, you can use a lot of this. You can use paper. You can just like glue the paper on. Paper would be interesting, yeah. Um, so this is, them. we're gonna use this bottom loop to make a stand so that your monster can stand yeah, up, I think I know okay? So what worked best for me when I did this is I actually make the bottom loop, it took, t turn it from a circle to a triangle. Like okay, that. Can you do that? Hey, I need to make the. <laughs> kind of looks like a hanger for clothes if you had it the other way up. And then okay. you're going to take your triangle and you punch another little hole into it, just like that. Like so this? it looks like you've got. So you kind of created a stand for your monster. Mom, my monster's a See little how that works? So we took our circle and turned it into a triangle. Hey, can you help me? Yep. And then we just bent our triangle like that. Okay? Yeah, I did that. You got it? It's falling over. Well, yours might need a little bounce. And then you can turn it back over and you can test its balance. Um, I had to play with mine a little bit yesterday before I got it to, to stand up really well. But you can kind of see you've got a nice stand you? there. Yep. And I'm going to work on Alice's um, unicycle. Oh, wait. She, is mine supposed to be? She had a, it could be. So if you have a if you if you cut your hair a little short shorter like Alice's Alice like did, I'm cutting it as short as my hair. There you go. Like um, we're just gonna make a bigger, flatter triangle. So she if we, she started with a circle. I'm just gonna try to make her triangle a little flatter and wider. Got a cute cat just right like next that. to me. Oh, where are you? And then turn her over and I have the cutest let's see cat. if that gets it standing up. I wish All I could right. pick up this cat for you guys there you to go. see, but she's too heavy. All right, so the last thing we're going to do, the last thing for our yarn monster is we're going to take some googly eyes, okay? So get thing? two googly eyes and get your glue. I want to make the weirdest yarn monster on Canada. And um, I will tell you, chenille stems and glue are not your Yes, if you were in our last video and you were making the bumblebee or a ladybug with antennas. It can be tricky because the, 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 the chenille stem actually soaks up glue pretty quickly. So the best thing to do for this project while you're waiting, while you're putting your Google, after you put your googly eyes on, is going to be actually to um, just let it sit for a few minutes while the glue dries. So I'm just putting glue onto Mine. the tips of, of my chenille stems, just like this, okay? I just put some glue on the top, right okay. there. And I'm literally just gonna take my, my, my googly eye and gently put it on top of that glue. And then I'm gonna set it down and just let that, that dry. And once that's dry, my yarn monster is all done. But we've got some fun, cool things to show you that you can do with these or kind of twists you can, um, you can do with them to make them fun to play with too. So we'll right show you those here in a second. Now, so why don't you put your googly eyes on for me, Alice? Right now in the chat, 
type in the chat if you have a like what's your favorite probably a kind of monster really a re related movie like oh monsters. that's a good idea what's your favorite monster related movie sorry type I, it in I, the chat i have spaces i can't say everything <laughs> So one of the things, one of the things as Alice and I, you can do it too. Um, so one of the things as Alice and I were talking about these were different fun things we could do. Um, so someone suggested earlier using different colors. So let me show you how you would use two different colors to make a different color monster. There's no more than There's Don, don, don. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a, um, a green and pink monster this time. So I'm gonna get a bunch of yarn and I'm gonna do my, um, my this time I'll only do 20 because I'm gonna do two colors, right? Um, and so I'll still get the same thickness. Um, so I'll do 20 times around. Let me just get my yarn here ready. For me, um, I just did a blob of blue on it a little because um, my blue is my eyes are going to be smaller, and I got two different shaped eyes. <laughs> I mean, monsters are can be funny looking. Do we have any favorite monster films listed in the chat? Monsters, Inc. is the big one coming in right now. Totally. That's our favorite, too, I think. Um, Goosebumps. Ooh, that's a good uh, one. Um, mm -hmm. Goosebumps, I had to sleep in her room. <laughs> <laughs> My so. youngest did too. She loved it, but she definitely came into the room after. Wait, yeah. does anyone like Ghostbusters? Oh, Ghostbusters. That's a movie we watch. I have yeah, not um, seen I Ghostbusters. I'm seeing Scooby Doo and How yeah. to Train Your Dragon. Good ones too. And there are, there are some kind of monsters in Harry Potter too, if you've mm -hmm. ever seen. Ooh, Hotel also, Transylvania. Oh, that one. He likes also, Hotel Transylvania. I love Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> Also, Ghostbusters, I have to sleep in her room because I'm terrified. Anything with a ghost or a creepy dumb me. So that's a good point. Like, monsters can be scary, but monsters can also be really friendly and funny. There's a whole show I mean, called Sesame Street that is all about monsters. Guys, you can... What is your favorite Sesame Street monster? Guys, blame Sesame Street for making cookie monsters like vegetables. Who likes <laughs> vegetables? Many vegetables are good for you. Cookies, no, they're not. Cookies are sometimes good. Okay, so back to the craft. Um, so I'm going to make the two color monster. All right, so I'm going to do 20 times around. Again, I'm taking the end, I'm grabbing it, and okay, making wait, sure wait, my wait, fingers wait, wait. are going to be loose. And I'm just going to wrap it around about 20 times, okay? Okay, I'll just copy you what you're doing because I'm, I'm going to do Nine, it. 10, 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, ah. 19, 20! So I got a little knot in my yarn. That happens. Just patiently, gently undo your knot. And if you have a cat, please um, make sure your yarn is away from the cat or the cat is away from you. Okay. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my first one off just like that. And I'm going to leave that loop um, just down on the table. And then I'm going to take my second color and I'm going to do the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And there's my second loop. And what I'm gonna do is take my two loops, right? That I've got, um, just put pulling these together, and I'm gonna put them both on my hands so they're kind of even, okay? And I'm just going to set those down gently. I'm going to cut myself um, a string that I can tie around both of these. So I'm going to take that string and I'm going to thread it through just like we did the last time, like it's a necklace, right? And I'm going to tie it off at the top. And you're going to want to knot it. So make sure you tie it off and knot it, okay? One, and you want that to be nice and tight. Two. Mommy, can you help me get this off? Sure. I'm doing the You're doing it too close. Sorry, I don't know where it's not tight. Okay, there you go. Okay, don't worry. So the tighter I, I you make it around that's... your hand, um, <laughs> that, that's right. The tighter you make it around your hand, the harder it is to get off, and the tinier your monster is going to be. 
So if you make sure as you're looping, you can still wiggle your fingers, that's a good thing. So next we're gonna take uh, our scissors and we're gonna cut the, again, holding from the top where you tied it. And that's, that's about two to three inches, that's perfect. Um, and we're just gonna give our monster its haircut, right? So I'm gonna get a cut at the bottom all the way through all my colors. Just like that. And look, my monster actually has some strings that are a little too long, so I get to have the fun of actually giving it a haircut. I'm gonna make them a little more even. Or you might like your monster with different, different, height, uh, different lengths of hair. And then you can just kind of pull some of the different colors together, kind of play with it a little bit so you get different colors coming through. What's your favorite monster for like, from like Monster Hotel Transylvania? Or monsters. Your favorite game. monster, not just like, your favorite monster movie, but your favorite monster. Yeah. Hmm. By the way, we're getting a lot of favorite monsters for Elmo, or for Ooh. Sesame Street, and we're getting Elmo, Big Bird. There's a lot of Abby Cadabby. Oh, she's great. Cookie Monster, who's my personal favorite. Does anybody like Grover? Um, I actually <gasps> books about monsters. Oh, oh I, know are, I know what it is. <laughs> These are some of my favorite books. I'm, I'm excited. I wonder if you actually knew what this is. Dun, this was dun, one of my favorite books growing up. That it's, was my favorite book growing up. <laughs> the Monster at the End of This Book. And it is a, a just genuinely awesome story about Grover. And it's super cute. It's a lot of fun to read. Does Do you have number two? They made another one. No, I feel like yeah. I have number two. Um, so. We all know Sesame Street, and they have made a tinier version of that to look like the favorites of favorites of favorites mm -hmm. of Sesame Street characters, like Fozzie and Elmo and Gonzo, if Gonzo's real. Um, yes. And they put them in Muppet Babies. So it's like the Muppets, they're but babies. they're like babies. And there's one new character named Son. 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 Yeah. I, did, I had a sound I um pause and then I say waka waka. <laughs> Let's hear your waka waka. No. no okay, no. she's gonna be shy. Waka waka. <laughs> you you practice your waka wakas at home. Okay, so we've got our two color monster. We're gonna take that pipe cleaner. We're gonna do the exact same thing we did last time. You're gonna make your loop, right? Leave enough for your eye antennas. And if you have you're gonna to twist it, it around twice. Sure. Just like that, Ooh, dropped it. Just like that, you're gonna take the center of your uh, yarn and just lay it on top of the V, just like that. And then you're gonna twist it one more time so you're securing that yarn in place, right? Okay. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna do your your eye loops, mm -hmm. just like that. So you have a place to put those googly eyes later. Remember, you want to make your you don't want to make those loops too big because then the googly eyes might yeah. might um, fall through. So you want to try to and they don't have to be perfectly the same size. This is a monster after all. 16, and then before we put the googly eyes on, you're going to make your stand. But um, so while let's see, I'm going to actually use um, my ex my example that I made earlier before I put the googly eyes on. What's cool about these uh, stands and the pipe cleaners underneath is you can also use them just to hold so it becomes a nice puppet, right? And so one of the things that Alice and I did yesterday, we started talking about, well, what if these were puppets and what kind of stories would we want to tell? So I actually made, uh, started making different characters for our story and I made one, so this is the normal size yarn monster. I made a giant one. Or maybe it's like the the daddy monster or the mommy monster. Or right? the Rapunzel monster because it looks like Rapunzel's. Or, or maybe it's a monster's monster. I don't know. Um, so, and then we thought, okay, here we are. What could we do? How could we create a theater? Okay, so we wait, actually, wait, 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 wait. Alice wait, wants to say. So, Alice time. So time. there are a couple different ways, very easy ways you can create I don't think that it's really your own um, your own home theater. You can use a chair and just put a, a towel over it and you can hide behind the, the chair and show your monsters like this and put on a show. Alice and I had some extra cardboard hanging around 
and some felt from uh, an old Halloween costume I made years ago. Oh yeah, ago. for my brother, and this year we're finally making my Halloween costume again. And we just took a, the piece of cardboard, let me show them the back, and Alice, you no, can no, see, no, had, no, 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 it's okay, no, no, Alice, no. please. Okay, Alice okay. had done some artwork on the back. We were just using it as kind of scrap cardboard. But we cut out a square, and then we just um, paste or uh, glued some felt to the front, and now we have a theater you can that we can like do a puppet theater with. You so you could do a, you could have stories. Like, look at this. Jimmy wants with the long haired, very long haired, very long haired monster. And one day someone picked him up. So that's just one fun thing you could do with these monsters when you're all done. If you don't just want to kind of play with them and look at them. Mom, but, these can also be really fun. Um, maybe if you're throwing a monster birthday party or a monster Halloween party, you could also use the, um, the, the chenille stem underneath that we're using for a stand. Get your Faber bags and kind of tie it around the outside of a Faber bag. Um, to um, be a fun little addition to your monster party favors. So lots of fun things you can do with these, not just um, you know, projects um, uh, in and of themselves. So going back to our yarn, dual colored yarn monster, I'm just gonna make her stand again. Wait, wait, take wait. that circle and make it a triangle. And then push a little bit so you get that, that little V shape, right? And it makes a nice stand. Um, and then I'm going to put her googly eyes on, and that is our monster. Does anyone have questions? Please tell us. If and maybe tell another monster joke, Alice. They do want to see the pipe cleaner step again. Okay, okay. happy to do that. Um, Actually, Alice is, um, do you want to cut this, Alice? Because she's almost at the point where she's ready to do, she's got two blues that she's going to do for hers. Wait, I have to... I will do the pipe cleaner for her. What, what pipe cleaner color do you want, sweetie, for your monster? Alice, what pipe cleaner color do you want? Um, well, I'm making a new one. Yeah, I just have um, to they want to the see the pipe cleaner, so I was going to use, just, use an example. Can you just cut it and do anything? Because I'm not sure. done. I'm what color do you want me to use? OK, we're going to, Alice wants us to use white. OK, okay? Wait, I have to. So hold on, let me show this, and then you can tell okay. your joke. Hold on, let me show this and then you can show your joke. So we're going to take the pipe cleaner. We're going to twist it just like that and make kind of a teardrop shape with our pipe cleaner, right? And then, I'm gonna take and then you're going to twist the tops around once, around twice, just like that. You just twist it in place, okay? Then you're going to take your, oh, Alice is getting me a monster ready, so hold on one second. Actually, I have one. Here's one um, I did, I started last night. Okay, so I have one ready to go. You're gonna take it just like that, so that tie is in the middle, and you're gonna put it right in between the V at the top of your pipe cleaner, okay? And you're gonna take your pipe cleaner tops, antennas, and you're gonna twist them one more time. So now your, your yarn is secured in between your pipe cleaner. And then you're gonna take your antenna, and you're going to make little loops with your antenna because this is where your googly eyes will go once when, once you're ready to glue them on. So you're just going to take one loop and two loops. Does that make sense? They're liking it. They want to see the big one. Ooh, I'll show you how I made the big one. You want to make another big one? Okay, wait one second. I have to tell my monster joke. Oh, Alice has to, okay, monster joke time. Let's hear it, Alice. Okay. Um, I'm giving my monster a haircut right now, but that was a joke. Okay. So paper's upside down. This is how we officially read papers upside down. Link. How does the cookie monster pay for his cookies? Hmm. And now I'm pretty sad that he doesn't eat cookies. He does still eat cookies. How does the cookie monster pay, pay for, for his, his cookies? cookies? Is the because question. You gotta pay for your cookies. You can't just steal them. That's a lesson. Kids don't think Cookie Monster steals cookies. No, he pays he either, for them. He could make okay. them. Okay. But I don't want them to buy some stuff. Okay, any answers? How does Cookie Monster pay for his cookies? In crumbs, he eats them first. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> Not the answer, but entirely true. 
Yes. <laughs> it's monster money with Love. cookie money. Close. Close. Very warm. Very warm. Is that it? Alice, you want to share it? With Crumb cash. Oh. <laughs> what was it? With cookie dough. Oh. <laughs> Some so really good answers. We paid him with the cookie dough, but there's probably going to be a lot of hair in it because he's hairy. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so if you want to make a giant monster like this one, okay. All right, Alice, you keep making yours, okay? I, I this is what. This is all about scale. So the fun thing with art and is you know art can be about opposites a lot of the time, right? You want opposite colors so that you get contrast, right? Lights and darks. Um, things might be scary or they might be nice and that might change what you put in your picture if you're creating a picture, right? I'm not but another thing, you. another fun opposite to play with when you're making art is, is scale. So something can be really tiny or something can be really big and that can change, um, you know, the perspective of what you're working on, right? So Alice is, it's, it's just like this. We kind of have a, a, we're working on a, maybe a family. Like maybe this is little sister and bigger sister and mommy, boy. right? And they're all different boys. sizes. A baby boy. Okay, two boys. Can you show the loop again for the, yeah, for the monster? Absolutely. They want to so see what it's for. Oh, no. The 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 loop again. Oh, sorry. So Under the like the like the stand part. They want to see. Yes, the stand absolutely. Part. Let um, me find. Well, one. mommy, you can do it with mine. It's all about me. Okay. Okay. Great. Sorry, okay. So Alice has her her main loop ready. So we're gonna get hers her um her two color monster ready. Okay. I have blue and turquoise. It looks like dark blue from here. Mm -hmm. But it's turquoise. Okay. So we're gonna get her loop top loop together, I'll secure the yarn in place, one loop around just like that. And now we've got her loop. So we're, um, for hers, I'm not going to do the antenna pieces. I'm going to work on the bottom, right? So to create that stand, you, you have your loop on the bottom. You're going to make, you want to make it into a triangle, okay? And the bigger your loop, the bigger the triangle you're going to want to make. So it kind of ends up looking like an upside down, upside down hanger a little bit. If you were doing it like that, it would look more like a hanger, right? And then you're gonna, so once you've got your kind of triangle, you're gonna wanna take your thumbs in the center of this piece here and just push it out. So you're, you're, you're kind of bowing it just like that. And that creates a nice little stand for your monster to sit on, okay? And the smaller the monster and the bigger the stand, like those paired monsters, mm -hmm. The stand will stick out a little bit, but that doesn't matter. It just matters that your monster is standing. Okay, so Alice is gonna put googly eyes on, on her new little monster, and I'm gonna show you how to make the giant one. Wait, so to oh, make yeah. the giant one, I actually, so for the little ones, you use your hand, right? For the giant one, I'm gonna use my whole arm, and I'm gonna go like this, same thing. I'm gonna grab the bottom of my yarn, and I'm just gonna wrap it around. And to get enough yarn for that, I actually had to do this 60 times. But okay, let me count. This. If you don't want, um, you know, as thick of a monster, you don't have to do it that many times. Okay, I'm gonna count for you guys. Okay, so I'm what probably on like 10 right now. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, Ooh, 25. Hold on, hold on. I ran out of yarn. I gotta get some more. Okay, let me stop that. Okay, pause to 25. I ran out of yarn. If you can count on your own, you can do it, but I would <laughs> suggest not because counting two counters is kind of weird. All right, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 34, 35, 30. Wow. So, uh, yeah, a lot of yarn. A yada yarn. Yada yarn. <laughs> I right. have spacer, so sometimes my tongue gets twisted. Mm -hmm. It's okay. sad having space. No, okay. it's not. It's fun. It's fun. Okay, it let's try it again. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 45, 46, 
47, 48, 49. I'll stop at 50, okay? 50. Woohoo! And if you have a smaller arm, I would recommend for you guys asking a parent so it can be big. Can okay, so it's just like making the other one. And it's a wait, I have a question. Okay. Can we make the scissors go? Can we make a two-colored big one? You can, absolutely. You can use any of these techniques anyhow, any way you like. So I've separated my yarn from this, the yarn skein is what those are called. Oh, wait. I'm going to lay it down for just a second so I can get my um, thread. I'm going to make bundle just like we There's did with the little one ones. Thing. What's that? So if you want to do this and you just want to do a bundle like that, mm -hmm. and well, that's how I, I did. But, um, what some people can do, like would do, was take one and kind of put it around after you tie this one and tie that again, mm -hmm. which I bet you did. Mm -hmm. you did do it? Yeah. You did uh, oh, both of them? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. But what I did is I tied them both. At take, the same time? Like, no, like one and then two. Mm -hmm. They were separate. And I put them together like that. And I took one of one of the colors and tied it together. Okay, well, that, that works too, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so for my giant yarn monster, I've got, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. And I'm actually, for this one, um, I'm gonna use some grown-up scissors to get through this uh, a little faster. So and only, only use grown-up scissors with parents' permission if you're old enough, if you're old enough kids, or with parents supervise, which means like help, or, if you're not old enough. Right. I, I use these, but I barely use them because they don't cut out stuff anymore. I'm playing video games all day. Hmm. So, okay. So we um, are just going to cut through the bottom of that mon our monster, just like we did the other ones. And here's my big monster mustache, as Alice said. Yep, yep. Look at that beautiful mustache. Okay. And then I'm going to take... Do you want to glue this on, please? No, we do not glue that things to ourselves. Um, I, I you take your chenille stem just like the other one. You wrap, oh, forgot can to make my loop this? first. I'm gonna make my loop first. Yeah, sure. Okay, so first you gotta make your loop. Beep, beep, beep. No, you wanna make it, um, for this you have to make the antenna pretty big, okay? Loop, be doop, be doop, and then we twist it around. Okay, wait. And then we have to twist it around once. Mm -hmm. This is not working. You're fine. Twist it around once. Twice, good. And, and then we're gonna. Then Twice, mm -hmm. which I'll do. I'll do it this way now. Okay. Because um, sometimes they just don't fit. Your antennas can be any shape. Okay. They can be two sized shape. Okay. Then you pull it like that. Okay. Then you take this. Now hold, hold the bottom, and you can do the top. I just twist. You want to do it tight, so we have as much antenna as we can get. Okay. okay. Tight. There you go. Good. And you're gonna twist it all the way, just like that, mm -hmm. so it's in place. So it's just like the other ones. We we'll use these top ones to make our loops. But what I had to do underneath for this one to make it a good, and, and I pretended mine was a puppet. Um, so you can either, hold on, sweetie. You can either um, Wait, I, just kind of hold the loop underneath, or you can use some more chenille stems and, and make that a little longer and stronger if you want to. Okay. Um, but so, still, this works as a great, um, your loop I'm, instead of a stand becomes just a holder so you can make it a puppet. I will also show you how to make the big one. If you want to make the big one. So you don't have to make it like this. Don't make it like this. What I'll do, I'll okay. do it the hour story. Okay. And then... Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this tiny, tiny, poor, innocent pillow. And it's okay if some of it just touches the ground. It doesn't matter if it some of the hair touches the ground. Okay. It's hair, people. It doesn't matter. Okay. I have to get my hair cut. Let's keep it on okay. the project. And then, so I picked it up. And where this tiny dent is, I'll go over here, mm -hmm. right here. And then I'll make the middle. You, Alice is experimenting a little bit. And so, I'll twist this. So while she does that, I want to encourage everyone to share your monsters with us. We wanna see what you made. We wanna see the monsters you made at hashtag makeitwithmichaels.com, or excuse me, take that back. Hashtag makeitwithmichaels. And if you wanna watch um, later these classes, 
um, to see how we did our how we made our yarn monsters today, you can always go to michaels.com backslash classes to see the video. This video will be posted again tomorrow. And if you wanna see what other classes are coming up, because we have these classes every day at 3 p.m. now through early August, um, you can go to michaels.com backslash camp dash creativity and sign up for new classes. There are a lot of fun new classes um, coming up in the, in the next week and a half. So we're excited to share those with you. Back to me. So since we have this tiny little sharp part and it's going to be hard to bend it, like the triangle, mm -hmm. I would flip it like that then. Okay. And I would have this thin and smooth part mm -hmm. at the bottom now. All you need to do is that. Okay. And um, so great. Um, do we have any? Okay. You've got to bend it okay. in my way. Okay, in your way. And you've got to make the triangle curve. No, wait. Do it, Mom. Okay. Well, why don't you practice with that? Maybe we can show them next time, okay? Okay, so I'm going to work on putting my, my eyes on. Are there any final questions before we wrap up? I think we made a ton of fun monsters today. I don't know about I think you. we did too. They um, want to know how the bigger monster stands up. Can you make him okay, stand? Okay, I'm making it right now. So the, getting the bigger monster to stand, I'm not going to lie, is hard. It's better as, a, as more of a puppet um, than it is a stand. But um, I did I try it. to figure out a way yesterday that he can, um, he or she, I guess it could be a girl too, um, can stand. So I'll show you how I did that. Let me see if I can get it to work this is so my I can wicked show you. Mustache. Hmm. Oh, that's a good wicked mustache. So yes, sort of. And then it can also be <laughs> sunglasses. Um, it's a little hard because the yarn, when you have a heavier um, yarn, making these stand up is a little bit tougher, um, but it's doable. Okay. I absolutely got this to work yesterday. So what I did was I actually used three chenille stems um, when I did this yesterday. So let me show you using this guy. Okay. Um, so I actually made, with this one, I actually made this a lot um, tighter on the bottom. I actually Can we tell them one more monster joke? Um, let me explain these instructions and then you can do that, okay? This on very well. So why don't you get your next monster joke ready? The well, it's the last joke monster joke. Well, for the last monster joke, does anyone have a monster joke? Oh, that's it. Ooh, I like that. So what I'm going to do, actually, I, um, for the big monster, um, you're not going to use that main loop. So I just kind of closed mine all the way up. What you're going to do is, uh, or what I did yesterday, was I took, um, let's see if I can get the right colors. Oh, wait. I'm going to use these. That's OK. I was thinking, before I bent That's OK. I already bent it. OK, so to get my stand for the big one, I used three additional chenille stems, or thingamabobbers, as Alice calls them. They're and so, bobbers, no matter what. Okay. Kid, and so I took, um, I've got my monster. The eyes are on the top, right? I'm going to work on the bottom um, where I had the loop. I closed up the loop. What I'm actually going to, what I actually did was I took these chenille stems and I threaded them through the main loop around, um, around the yarn piece. So I stuck them through just like that. Oh, wait, okay? wait, wait, wait. And we then I. Let me blow in a second. And then I um, tied it around like that. And I did that with three different ones because I'm trying to make a, one big triangle to make a stand. We have a suggestion for a stand. Oh, please. If you put the pipe cleaners into an end, like a paper towel roll, like just the cardboard part of it. That's a great idea. I love that idea. I made my loop a little too tight because I was just going to use it as a puppet. So I'm going to loosen my loop. But okay, so I've got my second pipe cleaner pulled through the bottom. And again, I'm just going to tighten him down just like that. And then I'm going to do my third one. So I've got now three pipe cleaners kind of pulled through that center loop of my monster and tied together. So ultimately, kind of looks like I've got a monster with kind of tentacles on the bottom, right? And then what I'm going to do, what I did, is I took them all together, 
and I kind of bent them down like this. So they're kind of like that. I took two and bent them about an inch to two inches down from the bottom and then kind of tied them together, looped them together so they, they connect just like that. And then I took my third one and I did the same thing. So I, I bent it about two inches out and linked it to the other one. Okay. Okay, hold on Alice. And now I've got three connected pipe cleaners just like that. And you turn it upside down so your monsters face up. And again, it makes a good just holder in case you wanna just do it as a puppet. But you can play with it a little bit and you should be able to get it to um, stand up too. Okay. Now? Just like. Do we have any monster jokes? We do. You ready? Very nice. Uh oh. What was that? I said we do have a few monster jokes if you want to hear. Well, they've sent me the questions. Let's see if we can find the answers because they're separate. <laughs> let's All right, see. Let's see if we can guess one of them. Okay. Oh, now I have to find them again. Well, what did the boogie monster say to the glum monster? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> that might be a mystery for a whole time. I've got to try it. Oh, he said, let's boogie. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. What would Flynn Rider in Rapunzel be called if he was a monster? Flynn's monster? Flynn. I don't know. Flynn monster. Good job. Okay. Uh, I just ran. I was going to like come up with Flinster or something. Flinster. Like <laughs> All right, we'll do one last monster joke and um, take final shadow. questions. And I think then we're all done for today. So, do you have your last monster joke? Um, the papers up there. So, after this monster joke, I will show a shout out to okay. one of my friends. Okay. Can I tell the name? Well, in a minute. Okay. Let's worry about that first. Okay. Yeah, you, you okay. What did people say about Dr. Frankenstein's monsters work of art? Oh, wait. So you might hear the, the name Frankenstein a lot and think it's a monster, but Frankenstein was actually the doctor that made the monster. What did people say about Dr. Frankenstein's monsters work of art? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Freaky. It was freaky. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably accurate. So good answer. Not the answer we were looking for. Do we want to? We want to give it, Alice. Do you want to give it away? Yeah. Let's give it away. A monster piece. It was a monster piece. Okay, now. All right, we have one. I, I told Alice, one of our friends used some thingamabobbers to make something for us, so we wanted to give him a big and thank you. It's my best, one of my best friends, and once we get back from our vacation, I'm having a sleepover. And that'll be very excited, so why don't you show them what they made and tell them thank you. So, as you know, a paper airplanes, she made a paper butterfly. So it's mm -hmm. like a butterfly, but a paper airplane. So thank you, Lenny and Winter. We appreciate it. It was very sweet of you to think of us. Kids, remember, show us what show us those yarn monsters at hashtag make it with Michaels. And check out our other camp creativity classes at michaels.com backslash camp dash creativity. We had a great time today. Wait, I hope you learned a lot. We'll see you again next week. We're and gonna be back on Friday. You can use paper for the film instead of the Yes, or just markers. All right, have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye, everybody.